I really like this music. It's a really nice variation of the, you know, nice, peaceful music we've been hearing before he started sneaking in here. Which, by the way, is totally not a sin. Breaking and entering is not a sin at all in the Catholic Church. Nope. Who's this? It's a large portrait of the Pope. The eyes seem to be watching your every move, making you somewhat uneasy about breaking and entering. Is this the current Pope? Or is this Pope John Paul II? Hmm. Hard to tell from here. It's a nice touch in the game, though. You'd love to be able to take down the portrait, but somehow it seems that it would be more trouble than it was worth. He's more concerned about it being more trouble than it's worth than stealing. Oh, Ben, you hypocrite. You have no need to go into that office. How about this one? Oh yeah, that's, that's Bianchi's office. Yes! Yes! Ooh, what do we have here? It's a chair. Sitting down here wouldn't be a very good idea, especially if Bianchi were to come back in and find you. I thought he was out today. Wow, we'll this painting. Let's steal it. In a moment of cleverness, you decide to see if there's anything hidden behind the painting. Unfortunately, all you find is some peeling wallpaper. Damn it, Grindislav! Foiled again. Grr. Playing on our tendency to look behind paintings for safes and stuff. Well, it's a painting of a saint carrying an infant. The plaque at the bottom identifies him as Saint Anthony. Mm, I don't know much about the saints, to be honest. There's a small notepad on the desk. You look through the notepad in hopes of finding some clues. A few pages in, you find a strange symbol which has been hand-drawn. Okay... Well, I want to see the symbol! Grr. Oh, we got that down. Maybe it's the same symbol as this? You compared the symbol on the back of Renzi's suicide note to the one drawn on the notepad. It's an exact copy! That means the paper Renzi wrote this note on was directly under this drawing. I guess that explains where he got a piece of, where he got a piece of paper in jail. Hmm. Very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Hmm. Anything else we can find here? A small sheet of paper is on the desk. Upon closer examination, you see that the paper is a letter. You can quickly read it. Mr. Bianchi, I am pleased to hear of your recent success. Surely this means the great task is nearly completed. I shall be traveling to Rome within the next few days and would very much like to speak to, uh, with you about this. Are you still living at the apartment on Via Casimiro Genari? I hope to see you soon. From Max. Cool, we found out where he lives. Well, looks like I found out where Bianchi lives. That might come in handy. Now we're stalking people. Woo! Stealing, stalking, breaking and entering. We're such a rebel. You browse through the books, but find nothing particularly interesting or helpful. You try sticking your finger in the hole of the box, but nothing happened. What? It's a gold box with a hole in it? Odd-looking gold box is sitting on the desk. It has a small hole at the top shaped like a hexagon. Okay... Can we put our pencil through it? Since a pencil is shaped like a hexagon? Darn it! I thought that was clever. Hmm. Ali Zebu? Darn. I want to see the stamp. Oh, I want his stamp. Screw you. Is there anything else we can do in here? I don't think so. Well, I guess we've done all we can in here. We found out where Bianchi lives. There's a mysterious gold box with a hexagon-shaped hole that a pencil can't throw in. And we know that this uh, symbol is the exact same one that was found on Renzi's suicide note. That is very interesting. 
Okay, he says nothing about our obviously... Okay, whatever. <laughs> He's not gonna judge. He judges not lest he be judged. He's pretty cool. I like Cardinal Genevieve's. Might as well take our tape recorder back, huh? Can we, though? Okay, never mind. Whatever. We're never taking our tape recorder again. We're just gonna leave it there for every future tourist to, uh, have access to, I guess. I have no idea how long this video's been going. That's okay. We'll just make it nice and long. Goodbye, creepy statues. Goodbye, Cardinal Genovese. We're gonna go stalk some important Vatican guy. Sup, my buddy? Oh, I wanted to talk to him more. I like him. He's a jerk, but in a way, I sort of like this guy. I don't know what it is. I guess that he's just so unple unpleasant. Hmm. Maybe we could talk to Percy about our findings? Just a moment. Listen to the awesome music again. Oh, Mr. Jordan, please do come in. What can I do for you? Oh, really? Are you serious? Can we tell you that we found the symbol? So you're sure this is a symbol of the Knights of St. Anthony? Quite sure. Well, okay, so the Knights of St. Anthony have something to do with Bianchi. Oh, I should have danced with him. Oh well. Um, I want to see if we can get anything done here. I can't quite remember all the details of this game because it's been a while since I played it. Have you ever heard of the Knights of St. Anthony? No, can't say I have. Are they some sort of religious order? That's the impression I get, but I don't know anything about them. Well, it's possible to make a few guesses based on the name alone. Uh, yeah? Like what? Well, I suppose it would depend on which St. Anthony we're talking about. You mean there's more than one? Four, in fact. But there are two famous ones. St. Anthony the Great and St. Anthony of Padua. Okay. I like this guy. He's, he's very informative. Tell me something about St. Anthony the Great. He was the first St. Anthony, born in 251 AD. One of the many things he did was live out in the desert by himself. That's why he got the patron saint of hermits. <laughs> also, he's known for being tempted by Satan and successfully resisting. There are several famous artworks depicting the temptations of St. Anthony. One of the more striking ones is Sean Gower's engraving of St. Anthony being tormented by demons. By demons? Interesting. Hmm. Well, maybe it's that St. Anthony, since this case has something to do with demons. But let's find out more about St. Anthony of Padua. Tell me about St. Anthony of Padua. He was, born in some, he was born sometime in the 13th century as Ferdinand de Belwas. Later on, he joined an order of monks dedicated to Anthony the Great. That's when he changed his name to Anthony. He was said to be the best preacher of the 13th cent century. In fact, they say that when they opened his tomb 30 years later after he died, the only part of him that remained intact was his tongue. That's a, a miracle, I know. He's one of the more beloved saints in the Catholic Church. He's also who you pray to when you lose something. Lose something? Yes. Whether you misplace your car keys or your mother, you can call on him. What? Misplace your mother? There's even a rhyme. Saint Anthony, Saint Anthony, please come around. Something is lost and needs to be found. Clever. I'll see you later, Father. God be with you. If you've lost your mother, that is 
quite interesting. Mm. Okay, well I guess we're gonna pay attention to the patron saint of lost items. You know, come to think of it, there was a picture of Saint Anthony in a in a Bianchi's office, wasn't there? He had a child, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Saint Anthony of Padua or Saint Anthony the Great. Um, anything else we can find out here? Hello again. Mm. Oh yes, what can I do for you? Have you heard of a group called the Knights of Saint Anthony? The Knights of Saint Anthony? Blech, Anthony? No, I am not familiar with them. Well, thanks for your help. Can I talk to the prisoners, please? Oh, is there anyone new in here? No? Okay, fine. Waste of time. So we've been there, uh, theater? Can we ask you about the Knights of St. Anthony? No, I guess not. It looks like the things they paint on stage for some of the operas. But I don't recognize that specific one. Alright. Well, thanks. Nothing else in here while we've been gone. Can't just shut off the lights again. Alright, whatever. Time to go back to the hotel. See if Alice is back from her shower or whatever she was doing. We found out a lot today. Alice! Hey. That's, oh yeah, we've, we've been through this. Any, any ideas on what I should do next? You should find out more about this Bianchi guy. Maybe you can get, yeah, we've done that, Alice, actually. We're one step ahead of you. We're so cool. Oh, she's impressed. Guess what, Simon? I need you to look up some someone's address. Via Casimiro Gennari. I think I found Bianchi's address. He lives on a street named Via Casimiro Gennari. Can you find out where that is? Yeah, sure. Here we go. There, I marked it on your map. Does this mean you're going to his house then? Yeah, I want to talk to him about all this. I don't know if you should go alone, Ben. From what you've said, he doesn't sound like the friendliest of people. I think Alice is right. You might want to think about taking one of us along with you, just in case. Yeah, well, I want to take Alice. And of course, by one of us, I mean the one you need to stop ignoring and spend some quality time alone with. Before she changes her mind about being your girlfriend down, would you? I'm not even 100% sure she is my girlfriend. Oh my god, you guys need to talk. What are you two whispering about over there? Nothing. Guy stuff. Smooth. Uh, I don't need to research anything else. Give me some advice about Alice. Alright, fine. Alright, so in the next video, we're gonna convince Alice to sneak away on a romantic trip, stalking someone at his house. I will see you then. Bye for now, everyone.